Hi, my name's Joe and I'm back from DG Shape to talk to you about the differences between the crown workflow and the bridge workflow. There's a few little differences, so we're going to begin. Same workflow as last time, new job. You're going to choose your machine. If you're happy with your tool package, you're going to choose a material and then the disc fixture. And then next. So I'm going to choose a full contour bridge with a decent span in it. So this is the bridge we're going to use. We're going to tell Mailbox that it's a full contour bridge instead of a full contour crown. And next. Okay. You can see that the disc is going to require a bigger size. So we're going to choose a new disc of 16 mil. Hit test. I'm going to use a lock code of two as an example this time. It's going to automatically nest the bridge again, like the crown workflow before. So sometimes you'll want to add a stabilizer for large span bridges with a large curve to them. They do have a tendency to, like metal, warp in the furnace. So we're going to add a stabilizer in tools. Then you click stabilizer and you'll get a number of options that you can choose from. Well, these options are mostly personal preference. Simple as you just choose the one you want and click on the bridge. Mailbox is then going to automatically put that stabilizer into the job. For me, my personal preference and the one that I tend to use is this one. You can use it as a stand in the furnace. The next thing we'll need to do once you're happy with the selection of stabilizer is add a few connectors. As you can see, a stabilizer does not come in connected to the disc. So if we click on the job, press add on the stabilizers. So I'm just going to add in a couple along the back here. That should keep it connected to the disc. So once you're happy, you're then going to go over to save toolpath like you did on the crown workflow. We're going to choose B this time. And you're going to get the same milling options as you did in the crown workflow, but with a couple of other additional choices. So we're going to go back to the three plus two automatic. We're going to turn on the anatomical detail of the point three. You can still get the rest material inside the cavity and the additional interproximal detail of a 0.6 is new for a bridge workflow. So we're going to turn that on to get the best result we can and then the brush tool is going to stay on because it's zirconia. Next. So that's it. That's the difference between the bridge workflow to the crown workflow and adding a stabilizer in. Thank you.